Hello everybody, this is Prowl and we have a new Minecraft beta and preview out 1.18.30.28-29 and it's got some cool changes in it. I'm going to do things a little bit different than the last couple videos. I really want to deep dive into the one or two like biggest changes within a beta or preview as opposed to spending equal time on everything like I have in the past and then we'll just kind of skim over everything else. So with this particular one, we're looking at a couple of things being added in. Number one is the deep dark and number two is the LA. So the deep dark, this one's going to be a little bit harder for us to do here because there's no way to locate biomes on Bedrock Edition. Um, there's no spectator mode. So you can't just fly around and easily find one either. So rather than going and finding one of the deep dark biomes, we're going to skip this one today. Java edition just recently came out with the uh, full, full implementation of the deep dark biome. And I did a video on that. So if you want to see more about the deep dark, go ahead and check that out. It's really, it's really neat. It's really cool. Um, but we're going to move forward past that. First, Axis, there's vanilla parity with Java Edition here. Axis will actually disable a shield that is blocking for five seconds now. So that's a really cool thing. That's going to affect a lot of things such as fighting piglin brutes, fighting raids and pillar fury patrols and that sort of thing. So that's kind of cool to see. Makes the game a little bit harder and I'm up for a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we now have a boat with chest in the game. Let's take a quick look at that. So as you can see here, you have all the boats. And you have all the chest boats, boat chest, boat with chest, whatever you want to call it. They're really easy to craft. All you need is just a boat and a chest. If you have those two things, you can craft it. You do not need to go to a crafting table interface to do it either. You can do it just from your inventory menu. Now we place one of these guys down. The whole point of this, right? Is so we can store stuff in it. We could throw shulker boxes in here and take a whole like load of shulker boxes with us wherever we go. Um, on Bedrock Edition as well, we do also have the ability to lead our boats so we could attach a lead to it, which is super awesome. And if you attach a lead to it, you could actually bring a whole army of chess boats with you if you wanted to take them somewhere just like this. And there are redstone device implications here as well, because as you can see, I can drive up to this right here. And as soon as it touches any part of the boat, it starts filling it. So whoops. Um, so as you can see, it is dumping cookies in right now. Uh, we can go underneath this one. Again, once we're underneath it at all, it starts soaking it up immediately. And if we go over top of this hopper right here, as you can see, it is now taking the items out. So the boat chest is a way to kind of pull items in and take them out. Ooh, you know what I just thought of? This thing has a pretty big like box, right? So I'm just trying to think of possible like implications for farms and specifically implication for like item collection and i got a cool little system set up here normally speaking normally speaking the fastest that you can load any type of like storage like device is like this right so if we grab a chest you can have a chest you can have one two three four five six technically seven eight things going into it at a time, right? And if you wanted to make them all on the same level, you could do just like this. Eight things going into a chest at the same time. Here though, we have three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14. And if we add some in the back, 15, 16, maybe even more, honestly, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's place this down, hop in it. And we should get a number of different items here. And if we park it just close enough, like right here, Nope, it needs to go a little bit further forward. Look at that. Look. It is getting... Is it getting all sides? It's getting all sides. All slots. Nothing else would be able to fit in the back at this... Oh. Um, nothing else would be able to fit. Like, we wouldn't be able to fit. Oh, wow. Look at that go. -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, this is cool. So, obviously, we have two more in the back facing in. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Now... I'm a little curious. So a, a hopper mine cart will pull at four times the speed of a hopper. So now how quickly I keep doing that. How quickly can we unload this guy? Can I here? Let's try. Let's give this thing a little try here. Um, I'm going to have to do this a certain way. So let's see. Can I get how many of these can I get under here at a time? Oh, no, they moved. Well, that's three. That's three under there. Oh, gosh. Look at how fast are they all getting it? Yeah, no, that's not. 
That one is. Okay. Okay. How can we improve this? Hmm. There seem to be some limitations. Like, I have this boat mostly forward, but if you, you see, I put right here, the hopper minecart's not sucking items out of the very front of it, but it'll suck it out the very back. And a regular hopper was sucking items out of the front. Like, if I do this, right, like, it's taking items out. So I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe some type of bug with it that they need to fix. But that should definitely be able to pull the items out. But essentially, you could get three. I bet you could probably even get four. If they fix that bug or we figure out what the deal with it is, you could probably even have something like this, where you have minecart, 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 and have some way to like time sending them off. And you'd be able to pull out four hopper minecart speed out with 16 hopper speed in. That's incredibly fast. I can't wait to see what some of the tech community does with this. Okay, coming back to the big one here. We got the LA. This is really the last big thing here. Everything else is pretty small stuff. Some bug fixes, some very like minor changes um, that I won't go over separately. You can go through and you can look at the uh, change log. It'll be linked in the description. But we do have here, we do have the LA. Now they've changed a few things. The LA now has a delay for picking new items after delivering items. This should make it so the LA will not immediately go to pick up new items rather than dropping all of its items off first. The LA will now only pick up the exact item it holds. This is a uh, bug fix as well. It is their intention to make the LA only pick up the exact item that it holds. We do need to see how exact that is though. So we'll do a few tests. LA's will now stay up close to a note block that has been played near it. That's cool. That's good. And LA are now immune to damage from its owner. That's good too, because I don't know about that one. I mean, you have the ability to damage anything else, but I guess at the same time, it gets in the way a lot when you're mining and that sort of thing. So that can become an issue. So I, I do get why they're doing that. Although this seems like a Band-Aid fix. They should just fix the LA pathfinding directly in front of you while you're doing things. Okay, so we're over at a, a farm I made in the last preview video. Just a basic sugarcane farm to give something for the LA to get. So let's spawn in an LA. Let's see if he's able to actually keep up this time. Because last time what he would do is he would grab one sugarcane and then go and throw it. What he would do is he'd grab all the sugarcane, but then he'd come over here and he'd only throw one because he'd see more sugarcane over there. As you can see now, He's getting, he's getting it all, but now he's wandering around, wandering around and okay, there he goes. So I wonder how long this delay is. Now, I guess he's full again. Oh, that got up there. So now he's going to, he's going to take a moment. He's not going to collect any. Okay. He sees some good. The delay is not long, like five seconds or so, maybe less. Basically, they made the delay long enough for him to throw a full stack of items out. It looks like what they did. That That's a good decision. I think they did good there. Now he's going to go through. He's going to keep collecting until he can't, doesn't see anymore. And then he'll go drop off. Let's make sure he's getting full stacks. It looks like he is because we had full stacks in there. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, no. Wake up. Wake up. I don't know what's happening. Hello. I Okay, well, this is a problem. It's like his AI just stopped. He's he's broken. He's done. He's he turn. But he's not doing anything. And also, you can't kill him. This is a problem, actually, because what if I want to kill it for some reason? What if I want to get rid of it? I don't have a way to do that. I guess I could like let a block blow it and set it on fire or something. I don't know or pour lava on it, but I can't just hit it. So it looks like we found another lay bug, but the bugs that they did try to fix, they fixed them pretty good. It's working fine. Oh, that one started back up again. But as you can see, they also stay in the area before they would kind of follow you around. Now, since that block is constantly playing, they're specifically staying in this area. They're not traveling far at all. So now they're permanently locked there. Unless I turn this off, I'm assuming I'm assuming if I turn this off, they will they will eventually, here shortly, decide to follow me again. Oh, okay, he's throwing, he's throwing. They have that one minute timer of remembering the note block that they're attached to. So I'm assuming they'll probably stay linked up to that until that one minute timer is expired. Look, he's following me now. Yep, they're following me. 
and they're, now they're throwing stuff at me. Everything, everything from that regard seems to be working good. Perfect. So now, if you want to, if you want to permanently affix these guys to a farm, that's what you can do. Now, are they just staying linked with any note block that they can hear? Or if I bring in a lay on this side while this one's playing, and bring in a lay in on this side while this one's playing, will they always return back to their respective note blocks? Let's find out. Let's kill these guys off. Okay, so now we have two of them playing. A spawn in a lay over here. Give him sugarcane. A spawn in and a lay on this side. Give him sugarcane. Let's see what they do. We'll try to track them. This one's the one that goes to the right. That one went back to the left. This guy. He's gone back to the right. Okay. Let's see if it happens again. Uh oh. Um, he's picking up the stuff he already dropped. Let's fix that. Okay, let's see what they're doing. Okay, that guy went back to the right. Oh, wait, he's going back because he saw more. Oh, this one's still this one's still spilling a little bit. Did I lose an LA? Oh no. Oh. He's he's trapped. Oh, there he goes. Let's um let's further let's further test this. Let's more let's more scientifically test this. We'll set up four of them. And we'll see if we get pretty even distribution between the four collection points. Okay, we have four drop off stations. Let's see what happens. Let's um, let's make this come in pretty quick. That way we get plenty of testing. And let's see if we get a roughly even distribution between the four and try to keep tabs on who's going where. So we'll start this guy out of distance of hearing those. So maybe somewhere like here. I'll give him that. Okay. And there. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we get an even distribution and the four of them continue. Does he have? Okay, he does. And see if we see any crossover. They're going back to their own. He's going back to that one. Going back over there. They're going to take a little bit to wander. They come back to their note block. He's collecting. This one's stuck down there for a moment. Look, he brought his back already. I think I think they're all going back to their own note block. I don't think there's any crossover. Look, if I go check this out, we got three stacks. We got two stacks. He was working a little bit slower. He got stuck. It's fine. Four stacks. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is this is screenshot worthy right here. This is awesome. You can have them take everything to different locations and they will stay linked to that note block. At least as of right now, that's what it seems like. Can we find a way? What are these big holes in the ground? Okay, that's cool. Very interesting. Um, do we have in a way to make the LA linked to two note blocks that are like really close to each other? Like you probably wouldn't want them this close to each other if you're trying to sort items because they're all going to go in the same like filtration system anyways. But at least in terms of like collecting items, I've found that a five by five is the most reliable method to not having anything caught. And I'm sure other people will find more reliable methods and be able to get these things closer than I'm going to try right now. But this is the one that we're going to try right now. We're going to try to link two different allays to two different stations that are pretty close to each other. So now the first question is, is will the allay hear the block, the note block it's closest to first? Okay, I got a little setup here. So if I want to activate both at the exact same time, I can. If for some reason I want to have one or the other activated, I can do that too. So I'm kind of curious if we activate them both at the same time, which one is an LA going to link to if we bring them out of ways? First of all, will they stay, will they keep their distinction between the two if we do it the way we were doing before, right? So if I come over here, and I place him, I think it's a 16 block range. Let me kind of count that out. Okay, so if I pull one in right here and let's just give it a grass block. It's linked to what should be this one, I think. Let's test. Let's throw it a handful of grass. What does he do? So he should take it to that one. Was it just because that one was closer? Take another handful of grass, throw it over here. Does he take it to the closest one or does he take it back to his home? He took it back to his home. Oh, that's such a good sign. That's a really good sign. Okay, let's take this. 
a step further. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay, this is a little primitive, but it's going to work a little, bit a little bit better. Yes, okay. So it sounds like they're beating at the same pace now. So let's go over here. Okay, so let's spawn in an LA. Give him a stick. Let's throw down a handful of sticks. He takes him over to the left. Okay, that's good. That's what we wanted him to do. Let's repeat this test a few times. Spawn in an LA. Give him a stick. Drop sticks. Grabs them. He takes them over. He throws them in there. We spawn one in over here. Let's see. Because they... Oh. He went to this one. Look. I think he's going to... I think he's going to go to the one to the left. Oops. Yes, he did. See? Oh. He, th he threw them to the other one. That's a problem. Uh, but that's interesting. So even though I spawned him in over here, he still favored this one. So it's not like distance based if all else is equal. I think we can probably rig something up. Let me try this. Any other method I think of, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than just bringing them into range. But the only other thing I could think of is you could do something like having a lay in, bring him in. He's here, right? Right now, he's going to be linked to me. And I can link him to this block like this. I can play it. And then I can bring in another lay within the 60 seconds. Give him a stick. Play it. Now, I can turn both of these back on. And they should be linked to their own blocks, right? So I should be able to throw stuff over here, stuff over here. It's all my sticks, apparently. And they're going to go back to their own now. So you're going to have different ways. And I'm sure people will come up with like unique ways of linking them up as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see what you guys all come up with. But the fact that you can link an LA with a block is really cool. I do wonder though. Wait. He just switched over to that one. We haven't seen that happen any other time. What is what is happening? Let's um let's try the the correct method of actually bringing them in on separate sides. Okay, so this LA right here is in. Let's bring one in on this side, roughly 16-ish blocks away. Bam. All right, that's six stacks. I think he tried to pick up the sticks that that one was throwing. That could be a problem, like cross contamination <laughs> in a way. If they're bringing the same item, though, in this case, we probably wouldn't have them bring the same item. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. OK, I believe I believe we've resolved the issue. We have one with cobblestone, one with smooth stone. And this has been going for a couple minutes now. And I spawned in one over there, one over there. So what we should have is I don't remember which side is which the way they're flying around it makes it a little hard. But let's just favor one side, right? Let's go ahead. Let's bring in all of the, the blocks right here. Our problem before was they were throwing and catching like the same items with each other. Oh, no. He's not linked anymore. Oh, it was working so cool before. So it's like they stay linked initially. They stay linked for a moment. Like here, you'll be able to see, right? Let me place him down. Let me give him this. Maybe it's just because it's the first minute and then every minute they relink instead of it being a continuous link. Cause I can throw all these down right here, just like this. And they'll they'll take them back to their originally linked ones. See, he's taking them over there. He's taking them over there. But I'm assuming if we give it more than a minute, look, look, now he's going over there. He's switching sides. Oh man, this is not good. So at least at, at this rate, you can't have them this close. And if they'll get mixed up this close, even though we've linked them separately to them, then I even imagine something like we have over here. It's going to eventually like where they're separated by a little bit more. If they're within like listening range of one or the other, it's still going to be a problem. It's still going to be a problem. So obviously there's no intended mechanics behind this yet that we know about, but this should definitely be intended for you to be able to permanently link an lay to a note block as long as it keeps playing. So um, Mojang Mojang developers, if you're watching this, that'd be a kind of cool one. I don't know if it can happen or not, but like an LA 
the first note block adheres as long as it doesn't expire that one minute timer between it here and the beat it should just always stay with that one block like infinitely until that beat stops and that one minute timer expires that way we can do things like this and have two separate drop off points for two different types of items within a lay that would be totally awesome it'd be very very useful okay so let's test their their ability to bring back specific items we're going to start with this glass right here because before the way it worked is if i gave him a regular piece of glass he, he would get all of the different colors of glass so if we put the lay down let's give him a piece of glass as you can see if we drop this he'll pick it all up he'll give it to us but if we drop this he doesn't care okay now let's take his item out of his hand we shift is it shift click give me your item bro or does click him with the new item? Oh, I can't. I can't change his item. There's no way to change his item. Oh, is it? Oh, you have to have an empty hand. There we go. Okay, empty hand. Now let's give him an arrow. Obviously, if I drop arrows, he'll come pick him up. What if I drop tip to arrows? Is he gonna get those? No, he doesn't. Okay, now here's another big one. Books, where you at? Yeah, arrow back. All right, I'm gonna give you a protection four book. Oh, I have to actually hand it to him. So here's a protection four book. Come here. All right, if I drop that. Okay, he delivered it. What if I do a lore book? Are all enchanted books the same? Oh, all enchanted books are the same. So enchanted books, they're gonna be treated the same way as each other, at least as of right now. All other items, though, at least ones that we tested here, they're all going to be separate. And I don't can't think of anything else that would be worth testing. That would likely be under the same tag. So I think I think we're good. So enchanted books will bring them all. Everything else will be brought separately. And I think as far as today's beta slash preview video, that's going to do it. I've tested everything I wanted to test. I'm curious to see what everybody else figures out. We've found out some interesting thing. We found out some interesting things with the chest boats, boat chests, boat, whatever it is, the boat with the chest in it. Uh, we found out some interesting things about the LA. We came up with some cool ideas of mechanics that we first thought were here, but obviously are not or, or are flawed if they are intended to be that way that hopefully the developers will consider adding in to make the LA even more useful. I appreciate everybody stopping by and watching this beta slash preview video today. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.